Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, to my YouTube channel. In this video I want to show you and tell you about some of the PAX pods that I have tried with my PAX era. That's this thing and I do have one video about the PAX era device if you want to watch it I can link it below for you or maybe I'll put it in the recommended su suggested thing. So look out for that if you want to find out what the PAX era is, where you can get it in Florida, etc. Um, I mean I guess I can spoil that right now because I'll tell you where the PAX pods came from. PAX pods in Florida are currently being dispensed by Liberty Health Sciences which is a Florida medical marijuana dispensary. So these are for purchase only by medical marijuana patients right now. We do not have recreational marijuana in the state of Florida, it's just medical at this point. And these are for medical marijuana patients. They're not for sale on this channel. I just have to say this as a disclaimer. Um, I'm not selling these. And this is not an advertisement. It's not sponsored. It's simply a video made up of my own opinions. So I hope you guys like it. And let's jump in. Here we go. Now, the first Pax Pod that I would like to discuss with you. Why am I talking like that? The first Pax Pod that I'm going to talk to. The first Pax Pod that I'm going to talk about in this video is going to be the Riff hybrid strain called Jack Frost. So Liberty Health Sciences is selling their own name brand Liberty Health Sciences pods. I think that's the case. I know that they're definitely selling obviously this brand or sub sub brand can we call it that for the sake of this video they're selling this sub brand called riff and then this other i'm calling it a sub brand <laughs> mary's medicinals which i do believe they also have products that are um in other dispensaries in other states possibly canada if i'm not mistaken it might just be Canada. I don't know. Go do some research, but I'm pretty sure the Mary's Medicinals is not unique to Florida. It's out there in other places too. About Riff, I'm not sure. I didn't really look into Riff too far, but yeah. So these are a couple of the different sub brands that you can buy of Pax Pods at Liberty Health Sciences. I started out with one of these and this was the first one I had. So there's barely any product left in this pod at this point. I got it when I got the Pax Era device and that was a few weeks ago, I wanna say, or like two weeks ago maybe. So I talked about this a little bit in my Pax Era video, but I didn't really go into too much detail, but I did say that this has 400 milligrams of THC, which is true, about about 400 milligrams, I think give or take a few milligrams for the person that told me that I don't know what a half gram is. The easiest way to explain to you that there's a half gram in here is to show you that on the package it literally says it right there. Net weight, half a gram. So just a side note, when you're buying a medical marijuana product in Florida, the milligram amount that's listed on the product is usually the amount of active ingredient in the product, not the net weight of the amount of product that you're buying. Does that make sense? I hope it does. If it doesn't, let me know in the comments and we'll do a video all about that. If you don't know how to read the products, I can give you some pointers on that. It's pretty simple once you figure it out, but I will say that milligram count thing does throw some people off. Like, so back to that Riff pod, for example. So I said, this is a half gram pod and that is true. It's just, there's 80% THC, so there's 20% more grams in the net weight of this product than 400 milligrams, which equals 500 milligrams or a half gram. So I know it's kind of annoying and uh, confusing, but anyway, I just wanted to mention that. It looks like from what I could see on the internet, I'm pretty sure that no matter where you are, like all the Pax AeroPods are a half gram size. So yeah, I don't believe I saw any that were a gram or anything like that. But but I do feel like I got a lot of drags of vapor out of the Riff Pod because you do have, like I said in the Pax Aero device video, temperature control options. So you can use this on a really low temperature and still get a nice inhalation of vapor. Or you can use the session control or you can use both simultaneously. So, and that'll help you to extend the life of your pod longer than, you know, than you might be able to without a Pax Aero device. So, okay. But I did say that this has 400 milligrams of THC, which is true, roughly about about 400 milligrams. I think it's give or take a few milligrams. But um, so I said this is a half gram pod, and that is true. It's just there's 80% THC, so there's a 20% like there's 20% more grams in the net weight of this product than 400 milligrams, which equals 500 milligrams or a half gram. So I know it's kind of annoying and uh, confusing, but. Anyway, it looks like everywhere from what I could see on the internet, um, I'm pretty sure that no matter where you are, like all the Pax AeroPods are a half gram size. So yeah, I don't believe I saw any that were a gram or anything like that. But I do feel like I got a lot of drags of vapor out of the Riff Pod because you do have, like I said in the Pax Aero device video, temperature control options. So you can use this on a really low temperature and still get a nice inhalation of vapor. Or you can use the session control or you can use both simultaneously and that'll help you to extend the life of your pod longer. So the Riff Hybrid Strain in Jack Frost. This pod is $65 when you buy it from the dispensary or at least it is at the time that I'm making this video. Like I said, there's not a lot of product in there anymore, but there's a little bit. And there's enough to get a few drags, but it's really not much. According to the patient insert for this product, 
this pod is made up of the following ingredients. The only ones listed are Delta 9 THC, CBD, and cannabis plant extract on the Riff pod, that is. The THC level of this product is 80.4%. The CBD amount is only 0.2%. With the active ingredient totals coming in at 80.6%, the remaining 19.4% is most likely terpenes, which are a common ingredient in inhalation THC products, especially here in Florida. I mean, probably everywhere, but... Yeah, they're definitely present in a lot of the vaping products that we have that are made with THC and or CBD. What's more, terpenes are definitely listed in the ingredients of the Mary's Medicinal Pods that I got, so I'm assuming that, that these also have terpenes. Why would they not? I don't, but it didn't say it on the packaging, in my experience, I don't think. I don't know, I lost this part of the Riff Pod packaging, so it may have said it on here. It may have said it on here but I don't have that anymore, so. The distillate inside of this pod was definitely the darkest out of any of the three pods that I had. It can be described as having a dark amber color to it, the distillate that is. While the color is dark, it still has a high level of clarity and you can see it into the pod. According to the patient insert and product information sheet for this pod, the oil is extracted and refined using Liberty Health Sciences proprietary process, which maintains a full spectrum of cannabis terpenes and cannabinoids. So I don't know what extraction method they're using for this because it's a proprietary uh, thing. I don't know what it is. They write in the insert that Combined with a high quality wickless ceramic coil, this product provides a clean, smooth, aromatic vapor while maintaining the entourage effects of the plant. Uh, I would say that's pretty accurate. And the taste of the Jack Frost Podge, by the way, uh, just so you know what it tastes like, kind of. It's um, not super weedy tasting, but it does have um, some really nice, kind of berry like tones to the aroma. I think it's really nice, really yummy. It was, it was good. Now let's discuss another Pax Pod from Liberty Health Sciences. This one is going to be the Mary's Medicinals THC Sativa Blend Pod, and that is in here. So here's the THC pod. Um, this is the THC blend, like I said. The color of this oil is going to be a little bit lighter, for sure, than the Riff Pod oil. Um, it is a similar tone and color. It's kind of like an amber. It's like the color of honey, almost, it looks like to me. And once again, the distillate is very, very clear. It looks like it's not cloudy in nature. It has the Mary's Medicinals 2Ms engraved in this side, and then this side has the THC blend name on it, which is awesome because then you don't not know which one you're using if you don't take note of like what the color looks like or whatever. This way you have the name of the strain right there, and the Jack Frost did have that as well. I like that they have that on there. It makes it a lot easier in case you're not always using the right packaging for your pods when you're like running around and you have your pods with you. So this is where it says Jack Frost on the Riff pod, and it says Riff on this side, but this is the Mary's Medicinals. So this pod was not quite as expensive as the Riff pod. These were the same price, these two Mary's Medicinals ones that I got. This is the 3 to 1 CBD blend that we'll talk about in a second. This is the THC Sativa blend, and these were each uh, $50 from the dispensary. So on the note of pricing, let's talk about that for just a second. I think that this price is a little bit more reasonable for PAX pods. We have a selection now of prices for the pods. I was excited to see when they included these on the website that they were $50 and not $65 and $75 like the first round of pods were that they released. It looks like in other states it's pretty standard for the pricing to be anywhere from like $40 is where it seems to start in some states and then it goes all the way up to $69 and $79 in some cases. I'm guessing that those higher priced ones are going to be your like higher end or perhaps higher THC, higher strength, but you have a lot of different options in the other states. You have different brands, you have different dispensaries selling these, and so you have all different kinds of options. So we're kind of getting our own options here too with Liberty Health Sciences. They're giving us the $50 pods, that we have the $65 pods, and then there's also a $75 pod that they sell, but I'm glad that they don't go up beyond that. In California, it looks like the PAX pods range in price from about $40 and up to as high as $69 or $79, like I said. The PAX pods are on the PAX Air website. You can see all the different states and all the different pods. When I first heard that we were getting the PAX Era here, I ran over to that website and saw like all the different pricing on the different states versions of PAX Era pods and I was like, okay, this is what I expect for the pricing. And yeah, I will say the $65 and $50 for one half gram pod, it doesn't sound like a it doesn't sound like a good deal whatsoever. But if you're somebody that's looking for a deal, you might not want the PAX Era. The PAX Era is kind of like a higher end device. It's gonna be a higher price and it seems in my experience having used it now and looking at it and just experiencing it. PAX Era is like really well designed and you can tell that it's a quality product. So I'm the kind of person that doesn't mind paying for quality. If I want quality in something, I'm not mad about paying more and I understand that something that's better quality is gonna cost more. So that's not to say that buying a gram of oil for like $60 at Truly versus Sertera, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. Mary Sativa, I really haven't finished the, this paragraph already. God. The product is described as having the following amounts of active ingredients. This is Mary's uh, Sativa Blend Pax Pod. The product is described as having 56.9% THC, so it's not as high as that 80% Riff Pax Pod. This is where the pricing does make a lot of sense to me. You've got your 80% THC pod at $65, you've got your 56. 
9% THC pod at $50. There is some consistency there. You're paying for not as much active ingredients, so you're not paying as much money, which is cool because that's kind of how it should work, I think. Altogether, it comes to 57.3% active ingredient. That's the 56.9% THC, 0.4% CBD, and together it comes to 57.3% active ingredient. It could be assumed that the remaining 42.7% of the product is terpenes because that's the only other thing that's listed as being in the ingredients list. I don't know if there's any residual solvent in this product. So the Sativa blend had a really nice taste to it. This pod reminds me so much of the Sativa True pods from True Leaf, which I actually like a lot. So those are out of my price range. I can't really afford to always be buying the $94 True Pods and I'm the, obviously the type of person that likes to try like tons of different products. So I'm not gonna like commit to one product if I don't have to. And if I do, I'm not gonna spend the $94 because I could buy an oil syringe at True Leaf, get the same amount, one gram of True Clear and get that for $60 instead of $94. So like I said, the Sativa Blend Pod tastes a little bit like the Sativa True Pods, like Durban Haze and no, like Durban Poison and Jack Herrera. Now let's talk about the CBD Pod from Mary's Medicinals. This is not just a CBD Pod, it's a three to one ratio of CBD to THC pod. So it's not a straight CBD pod, does have some THC, but the CBD is going to be definitely the highest in this product out of the three pods that I've been talking about here. It doesn't have as much THC as the other pods either because it is a 3 to 1 ratio of CBD to THC. The contents of the 3 to 1 pods are as follows. 46% CBD and 17.4% THC. The remaining 36.6% is presumably also terpenes, I'm guessing, as in the other two packs pods, because the other two pods have terpenes, blah, blah, whatever. The only two ingredients listed on the Mary's Medicinal Pods I got are cannabis extract and natural terpenes. The color of this product is definitely the lightest of the three. It's like a really, really pale green, kind of like the color of a peridot stone, which is my birthstone. It's like really, really light green, and it's also very, very clear. It has a pretty hue, and light has no trouble passing through it. The extract is translucent and clear. The first time I inhaled the vapor from this pod, I was surprised by the taste of it. It's very different. Um, it's not bad, it's just really different. It's not really what I was expecting, but um, I'll try my best to describe it to you. It's a really clean tasting vapor, like very, very clean, I guess would be the word that I would use to describe it. Almost tastes like a spearmint sort of flavor, but without a cooling minty experience, because you don't really get that with this. Not like vaping on menthol, like, anything. It just has like, that's the only thing I can really think to compare the flavor to is sort of like a spearmint essence. Other than that, it's almost like a salty breeze too. <laughs> like, like if a salty breeze and a non-minty spearmint had a love child, that would be the taste of this CBD pod. So the first time I inhaled from it, I was like a little bit taken aback by the taste. Cause I was like, wait, what? But it's like I said, it's kind of almost like a spearmint taste and it's actually kind of yummy, so I'm down with it. Well, the taste is definitely unique, I wasn't mad at it and I didn't mind it. I liked it actually. That's about it on these PAX pods uh, for today. That's about all I got for you guys. I hope you liked the video. Oops. That's about all I've got for you guys today. I hope that you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know if you want me to try some other PAX pods or let me know what you want me to review next and um, we'll see what we can do over here at the L.E.K. studio, which is just me. There's no we. I don't know why I said we because it's just my Myself sitting here. Well, that's about it. Go do your life. I hope you have an awesome night. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving and Black Friday today. And I will catch you next time. I'm gonna do a video soon that finally explains. I'm just gonna explain why I have a fake name and I'm doing this YouTube channel because a lot of people that I knew before I made this YouTube channel and like haven't seen in a while, like they're seeing me on YouTube, I guess, and uh, have been like, what's going on? <laughs> Who's L.E.K.? And I'm like, it's it's actually not that hard to explain. So I'm gonna try to do that soon, but I just want, I wanna make that video kind of like a good one. Uh, yeah, so, okay. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great night. Uh, I don't know, hit me up. Talk to you soon. There's my Instagram down below. Okay, see you next time, bye.